Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today we've got this plate, we've got some uh, water in it just to cover the bottom. We've got a little piece of a candle there and we've got a glass right back here. And here's our glass, just an ordinary drinking glass. We're going to suck this water up inside that glass with only using that candle. Stay tuned. Okay guys, now this is the second time I had to do this. The first time I did everything, I did the experiment and did not press record on the camera. So, I don't know if you can see that or not. We've got water in here. Just enough to cover the bottom. We're going to light this candle. I hope, hopefully you can see the water once it starts doing its thing. Um, well, there we go. Alright. See the candle's all lit. Now, here we go. Here's the fun part. You take your glass, you put it upside down over top of that candle. Now let's zoom in on this. See if you can pick that up there. See it? And there goes the water. And the candle went out. Now kids, if you want to try this, make sure you have an adult with you. But what that does, it creates a vacuum because it makes the air different inside that glass. And the reason why the candle went out, for, this is for the kids, the reason why the candle went out is because a candle needs oxygen to burn. Fire needs oxygen. And that's what a candle has, of course, is fire on it. Well, when you put the glass on it, over top of the candle, it will snuff it out because it, it burns up the oxygen in there and that's what creates the vacuum and sucks that water up into the glass. Now let's go ahead and pull this glass off. And there it goes. That's just a pretty neat little experiment for you guys to do with your kids. So let's pull this candle out of here. I'm going to show you something else. Let's get some pepper. Okay. little experiments here. Let's put some pepper in this water. Okay. There you go. Zoom in on that. Let's raise you up a little bit and zoom in on top. There you go. Alright, now take a little bit of dish soap here and put a drop in there and let's watch what happens. Did you see it? It pushed it all away. The dish soap pushed all the pepper away. So that's that's pretty cool. You can also put a little bit on your finger. Just get a little bit, a little dab on your finger there and touch it. And it'll spread out. Of course I already did that, but same basis. Alright guys, and there you have it. Uh, just a quick little experiment if you guys, you know, on a rainy day or whatnot, it's going to be raining a lot. We're in the spring. You know, something to do with your kids, something fun to do with your kids. Get you a little candle, a little bit of water, light it, put your drinking glass over top of it, and it'll suck the water up in there. Now, I didn't have any food coloring. But you can color the water so the kids can see it better. But I think you'll be able to see it already in here to get the idea. So there's just a couple, just a little fun experiment for you to do with your kids. And kids, if you're watching this, make sure you have an adult with you. Alright? So, Shea Bear 1000, the myth, the man, the legend. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye.